Potato chips are a cheap, great tasting, quick snack. However, the havoc they wreak on your body is not worth the little bit of pleasure you derive from these crispy snacks. Potato chips are high in both fat and calories, which are sure to bring on weight gain. A study done in the New England Journal of Medicine found that eating just one ounce of potato chips per day caused an average two pound weight gain in one year. Ugh. Besides being full of trans fats, which can cause high cholesterol in most people, they have excessive sodium levels, which for many people cause high blood pressure. Potato chips are loaded with artificial flavors, many preservatives and colors as well. More garbage your body doesn't need. Potato chips are fried at high temperatures to make them crispy but this also causes them to make a material called acrylamide, a known carcinogen that is also found in cigarettes. If you must eat them to preserve peace in the family, or if you have an occasional craving, buy baked potato chips or tortilla chips, which are both lower in fat and calories. Air popped popcorn and whole wheat pretzels are, a, are other healthier options. Or try baked apple chips or banana chips, which are dehydrated. Both are crispy and are far healthier than regular potato chips. Let's start with this. All hydrogenated oils are vegetable oils. Vegetable oils must be chemically removed from their source, not extracted naturally like butter. They are then changed to be more acceptable to consumers. They are frequently deodorized and colored to look appealing. All vegetable oils contain high levels of omega-6 fatty acids. The bad news? An excess of omega-6 fatty acids can cause health problems such as heart disease and an increase in various cancers, especially skin cancer. You need a good balance of both omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Try to get plenty of omega-3 every day. You can do this in the form of supplements and grass-fed meats. Also, remember that fatty fish such as salmon and mackerel are an excellent source of omega-3. Hydrogenated oils are used to preserve processed foods and keep them looking appealing for, a long, for as long as possible. Hydrogenated oils influence our cell membrane's structure and flexibility, which is linked to cancer. Remember, they are used to increase the bottom line profits of Big Agra, not for your health and well-being. These are foods that are cured using nitrates, which act as preservatives and add color to the meat. Although nitrates do not cause cancer in and of themselves, under certain conditions, these chemicals change once they are inside the body into N-nitroso composites. This insidious substance is associated with a greater increase in the risk of developing cancers. Smoking meat or nuts cause them to absorb considerable amounts of the tar produced by the smoke. Tar is a known carcinogen. Meats such as bacon, sausage, bologna, and salami are high in fat and salt. Pickled foods are also very high in salts. There is overwhelming evidence that eating these types of foods significantly increases the risk of colorectal cancer and higher rates of stomach cancer. The rates of stomach cancer are much greater in Japan where a traditional diet contains many foods highly salted or smoked. Most people know that white flour is not healthy, but they may not know just how bad it is for your health. Refining grains destroys its natural nutrients. Mills are no longer content with waiting for their flour to whiten with time. Mills now bleach flour with a chemical called chlorine gas. The EPA states that chlorine gas is a dangerous irritant that is not safe to inhale and in large quantities can be lethal. White flour lurks in many processed foods. While processed flour has a very high glycemic rate, which quickly raises the blood sugar level and insulin levels, which can be a direct cause of diabetes. If that weren't bad enough, it is believed that it spreads cancer cells by feeding the cells directly. Cancerous tumors feed mostly on the sugars in your bloodstream. By avoiding refined grains such as white flour, you can avoid or at the very least starve tumors. Genetically modified organi organisms, more commonly called GMOs, are foods that have been modified and grown by chemicals in a Frankenstein manner. At the Rowett Institute in Scotland, rats were fed GMO foods, especially potatoes. All rodents showed damaged immune systems, precancerous cell growths, and similar brains and livers, smaller brains and livers, in just the first 10 days of the project. 
American consumers believe that the FDA has approved these GMO foods, but as usual, they haven't. Even if they had, considering the track record of the FDA's reckless disregard for safety, it would not make GMOs a bit safer. The FDA has no testing procedures for GMO foods. None. Zero. Nada. The only human study ever published showed that these foreign genes present in GM food transfer to the DNA and the bacteria in our digestive systems. We, the American consumer, are the guinea pig or rat in this case. Unfortunately, almost all grains, including soybeans, wheat, and corn, have been grown via GMOs. GMOs do not have to be listed on food labels, so read carefully and look for labels that state the food is GMO-free. Refined sugars are not only known to spike insulin levels, but also be a tasty feast for cancer cells, which can cause them to experience explosive growth. It is a known fact that cancers have a sweet tooth. Otto Warburg, a Nobel laureate in medicine, discovered in 1931 that tumors and cancers both use sugars to feed themselves and to increase in size. To multiply, cancer cells seem to prefer feeding on fructose-rich sweeteners like high-fructose corn syrup, HFCS. Why? Because HFCS is metabolized by cancer cells most quickly and easily. Now it should be crystal clear why high-fructose corn syrup is considered the worst offender. Cakes, pies, cookies, sodas, juices, sauces, cereals, and many other famous processed food items are loaded with refined sugars in general and HFCS in particular. This helps explain why cancer rates are soaring these days. There is a cruel irony here. People who need to lose weight or are diabetic use artificial sweeteners to avoid sugar. Sounds good. But in reality, there are numerous studies that show people who consume artificial sweeteners on a regular basis gain weight. Artificial sweeteners also do little or nothing to help those with diabetes. In fact, artificial sweeteners make it even harder to control their blood sugar levels and worsen conditions that are related to diabetes such as cataracts and gastroparesis. Sometimes aspartame has been found to cause convulsions, which some people will mistake for an insulin reaction. Not to mention that artificial sweeteners inhibit your body's ability to monitor its daily calorie consumption and make the body crave even more sweets, in essence, creating a vicious circle. There is mounting evidence that the chemicals that make up these sweeteners, especially aspartame, break down in the body into a deadly toxin called DKP. When your stomach processes this chemical, the stomach then produces chemicals that can cause cancer especially brain tumors. There are no shortcuts. Avoid this poison.